hello. <laughs> Here I am again, Sue Kreisman, friendly old lady, talking to you about the menopause, uh, which I think is actually a very good thing. And if you live long enough to go through the menopause, you are very, very lucky. I'm 80 years old, so it happened to me more than 20 years ago. Uh, I'm still alive. My mind is still working. I'm still sassy. I'm still busy. I'm still very productive. I'm not going to talk about the little bits of arthritis. I'm not going to talk about what gravity does to women. Um, my breasts now give a whole new meaning to the term knock need. Thank goodness for sports bras. But we can deal with that. We can deal with that. But I just want to talk a little more about the menopause. Nature is very unkind to women. It tears us apart during childbirth. We bleed from adolescence until menopause. We bleed every month. What do you call it? The curse, that's a good word for it. A visit from Aunt Flo, having the painters in. It's shark week, or my very favorite, birthing a blood diamond. There's nothing good about menstruation. Um, we have all sorts of technology and uh, equipment to deal with it, but the best thing about the menopause is they stop. You don't bleed anymore. You don't have to worry about accidental pregnancies. You don't have to worry about pregnancies at all. You have a tremendous amount of freedom. I love old age. I absolutely love it. But I just want to talk a little bit about... Um, the difficulties, it's hard in the beginning. There are the hot flushes, the insomnia, the lack of libido. God, that's tough. And worst of all, depression. And I am a very positive pe person, um, a very optimistic person, but oh my, when I th went through menopause, the depression was a kill, almost suicidal. What? This is not me at all, but it happened. All sorts of things happened during the menopause. You just have to be really brave and get through it. Also, you can talk. You can turn into a really cantankerous old crone. I do not like that word, crone. So you just have to have courage that you will get through it, and it's a whole new world, a wonderful new world, when you get to the other side of it. I am a believer in hormone replacement therapy. And those who say it's unnatural, I think you're wrong because nature wants us to have as many babies as we possibly can and then die before we reach really old age. We are living in an era where we can live a long, long time. We can be very, very productive. We still have a fantastic life in front of us. Nature robs us of our hormones because nature thinks of us as baby-making machines, which is why we bleed every month, which is why we get pregnant if we're not careful. Uh, so then our hormones disappear. What's wrong with replacing them? I'm a big believer in medical science, and what you need to do is talk to your GP. You need a very, very, very sympathetic GP, preferably a woman, although if you have a young woman GP, she may not really understand it. You have to be a pain in the arse. And uh, when it happened to me, I was still living in a small Cambridgeshire village, and I had a clueless male physician, and I badgered the life out of him. And I tried various things. I tried patches, I tried this and that. Kept changing what I was trying until I found exactly the right thing for me. And that, that was life-changing. I went through the menopause, all the horrible things that were going on, the depression lifted, the libido was restored, um, the hot flush, I still occasionally get a hot flush, but I guess, especially in this weather, I can deal with that, and it's not so bad, slept better. So I'm not telling you that you should or you shouldn't, I'm just saying consider it, because uh, there are all sorts of things you can do. We live in a completely different world from our grandparents, and of course, at 80, my grandparents really lived in a different world, a different world from our parents. And it's changing all the time, and there are new discoveries all the time. So I say, don't despair. Whatever you're going through or you think you are going to go through, it will improve. There are things to do. I took a tablet 
every day, HRT for years. Now I'm taking one every two or three days. It keeps me strong. It keeps my bones strong. It keeps me healthy. There are always pros and cons about everything, so you have to be very proactive. Do some research from intelligent sources, please, and make up your own mind. But I'm just saying there is hope on the other side. You will live to have a fabulous life. We are all Wonder Women. Please don't forget that. I'm sending love. I'm sending hope. Bye.